Hi everyone, my name is Terry, and welcome to Friday Fact Day, where I get to tell you about my work in fitness, feminism, and philosophy. And today, as I was setting up my camera and my light to do all my recording, I was moving my light around and realized my arm is really sore right here. And that's because I got my flu shot a couple of days ago, which reminded me that a few videos ago, I said I would explain this particular phenomenon. So, today's fact is... DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. And as the Brits say, it does what it says on the tin. <laughs> so a few days after you work out, you sometimes get this soreness, especially if you worked a particular area really hard and it's sore. It's just sort of a generalized ache. It can be very stiff and it can feel quite heavy. It can feel like your, your limbs are made of lead. So that's what it is. And what's happening is that the muscles are repairing from the damage you did in the previous workout. So when we do weight training or anything that's really new to the body and the muscles kind of go, hey, what's going on there? That is actually making little tears in the muscle. And that repairing of the tears is what makes the muscles bigger. That's the gains or the muscular hypertrophy. So that's repairing itself. And you feel that soreness in the meantime. Now, I do want to be clear that DOMS is soreness. It's not pain. And soreness and pain are not the same thing. They're not at the same level. So if you have pain and you've gotten injured while working out, that is something that's going to happen immediately during the workout. It's not something that's going to show up a day or two later. So stop your workout if you've injured yourself. Go ahead and get some medical attention if necessary and definitely rest. Now, if it's DOMS, that's different. Rest is actually counterintuitively, I know, but it's one of the worst things you can do. So if you have DOMS, you want to actually get up and do a little bit of movement. Not the same workout you did that got you in this position in the first place, but you want to do something, some gentler version of a workout, a, a go for a walk or do a bit of cardio, uh, go for some yoga if you have access to that, go for a swim if you have access to that. So do something different that is not going to repeat what you've already done, because if you're sore, you're going to risk actual injury. Um, but you want to get some movement happening. The other thing you want to do is get some water into you, get some, some hydration, because that's always a really good thing for your body in general and your muscles in particular. And you'll find that if you get up and do a little movement, the DOMS will ease off or go away. Whereas if you sit around and wait for it to go away, you're actually going to feel it for a lot worse and for a longer period of time. So don't worry about the DOMS. They're a good thing. They're, they're a sign that things are going well. <laughs> it's a little annoying, yes, but ultimately it's something that you want to experience every so often because it means your workouts are staying uh, challenging for your muscles. So go ahead, challenge your muscles. Don't stay still if you get the DOMS and lift heavy, fight the patriarchy, get your flu shot, <laughs> and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.